The objective within this lesson is to represent and solve three-digit dividend division with divisors of 2, 3, 4, and 5 numerically. Okay, let's work with this problem here, 256 divided by 4. I'm going to set up for a standard algorithm approach, and we'll also set up a place value chart so that we can look to see how it is that we go about dividing this number. Let's model it within our place value chart. And we're dividing it into four groups. We'll start with those two hundreds. Well, can't. So I will regroup them into the tens place, where each of those hundreds is worth 10 tens. So now I have 25 tens that I am trying to divide by 4. 25 tens divided by 4 goes in 6 times. Since I'm working in the tens place, that's why I write that 6 right over the 5 there. 6 times 4 is 24, and 25 minus 24 is 1. Next, I'll bring down the 6. So I had a leftover of 1, which I will regroup back on over to the ones place. And let me continue to show my division work within my place value chart. So there were six within each of those groups. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. With those 16 ones divided by 4, you get 4, because 4 times 4 is 16, and 16 minus 16 is 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And finally, 1, 2, 3, four. So that there are six tens, along with four ones. Six tens, four ones, which also equals 64. Here we have this problem where we're asked to solve and check. We have 483 divided by 5. We'll use the standard algorithm here. Here's 483. That's what we're dividing, and we're dividing by 5. 5 cannot go into 4. Those 400s could not be divided by 5. Therefore, we regroup them and put them together with the 8 tens so that we have 48 tens and we're dividing 48 tens by 5. We place the 9, that's what we get there because 9 times 5 is 45 and 48 minus 45 is 3. At that point, we bring down the 3. So we'll have 33 ones divided by 5. 33 divided by 5 is 6 because 6 times 5 is 30, and 33 minus 30 is 3. There's nothing else to bring down, therefore 3 is our remainder. Now, the other part of this is to check. The inverse operation of division is multiplication. And what, we're, what are we checking? Well, we're checking our answer. So let's work with our answer. Let's write our answer down first. We have 96. We said it's our inverse operation, which is multiplication, and we'll multiply by the divisor, which is 5. Work on through this. We get 5 times 6 is 30, 0, regroup of 3. 5 times 9 is 45, plus 3 is 48. 480 does not match 483, because we still have to add in the remainder of 3. Then, our solution there checks. Let's write our solution here as well. Read 483 divided by 5 equals 96 remainder 3. This is our quotient, this is our dividend, what we were dividing, and this is our divisor. Please solve and check this here. We have 273 divided by 4. Pause the video while you do your work. 
4 cannot go into 2, 4 can go into 27. We divide those 27 tens by 4, we get 6. Make sure that you recorded your 6 right in the tens place. We know that 6 times 4 is 24. Therefore, we have 27 minus 24, which is 3, and we can bring down the other 3 so that we have 33 ones. What are we dividing by again? Right, 4. 33 divided by 4 is 8, because 8 times 4 is 32, and 33 minus 32 is 1. Did you remember to write your remainder as part of your solution and answer? Hope you remember to check as well. How did you check, and how did you set this up? Did you start with your answer, 68? What did you multiply by? Hopefully, 4. 4 times 8 is 32. Place a 2, regroup a 3. 4 times 6 is 24, plus 3 is 27. So we have 272. Add in the 1, you get 273, which is your check. So we have 273 divided by 4, equaling 68 remainder 1. And the way we checked it is we went the other way. 68, we multiplied by 4, and we remembered to add in that remainder. Let me show you one last problem. We have 451 divided by 3. We start in the hundreds place, where we go 400s divided by 3. When we divide those 400s by 3, 1 will be within each of those groups. 1 times 3 is 3. Those are the 3 that we are distributing in those groups. 4 minus 3 is 1, and then we would have to rewrite 100 as 10 tens. Putting it together with those 5 tens, you get 15 tens. Then we would take those 15 tens and divide it by 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5, because 5 times 3 is 15. 15 minus 15 is 0. Last, we, we bring down the 1. When we try to divide the 1 1s into those 5 groups, we can't do that. So what do we place in the quotient? Well, we place a 0 into the quotient, because 0 times 3 is 0, and 1 minus 0 is 1. That 1 is our remainder. So we have our answer of 150, remainder 1. Do you remember how to check that? Right. Let's write the answer first. We'll multiply it by what we were dividing by. And it's just like this. Because when we have hundreds and tens and ones, we had the number that we modeled. And then we had those three groups that we had it divided into. And within those three groups that we divided into, we were only looking at one of those groups, except each of those groups would be the same, where we had 105 tens. That's why it's 150 times 3, which will equal 450, because we looked at all those there. They would be the same from what we were dividing. And then we would still have that leftover 1 that we had that we could not divide that we add back in for our solution. For our solution, that's our check there. And it all comes back to that place value chart and that understanding of how it is that we are going about our division of these larger numbers.